You arrived at the scene after the assailant had fled, correct? A little after 3 a.m., yeah. Were you aware of his current mental state at the time, Mr. West? His mental state? His confusion, the blood dripping from his hands, like someone else was driving him forward, yet a bright light leading him onwards. I heard that bright light, as you so eloquently put it, was just a bunch of biker trash scumbags in search of lost souls. Guess he must have hitched a ride with them somehow. Perhaps it was when they realized that the party was already dead. Excuse the pun. Speaking of dead, wasn't your daughter Katie at that party, Mr. West? Seeing her blood zigzagging between those bathroom tiles, it was like a sledgehammer using my stomach as a welcome mat, drowning without water. Jesus, she was so messed up that I couldn't even ID the body.
They took me off the case after what happened with Katie. But let's just say it was keeping up to speed by other means. Once the ranch massacre happened, my colleagues were more than happy to unofficially keep me informed. It seemed obvious to me that this was just the beginning, and I had Las Vegas down as one of the contenders for the next attack. Of course, the problem is that Las Vegas is one hell of a landmass to keep a watchful eye over. The kicker is that he was spotted leaving the scene on a shuttle bus. A goddamn bus! So you're saying the perpetrator was calm even after what he'd just done? I'm saying this guy was a fucking psycho. Please, Mr. West, try to stay professional. <laughs> you're a funny guy. Either way, I still don't know how he evaded the entire police force descending down on him. It was like the devil was on his side. 